Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, it's Thursday. I'm about to do um, a walking video before work. I am in absolute agony. <laughs> Every blow my waist is dying and I'm all gone really badly bloated from <laughs> my really spicy madras. So that's gonna be nice, but I'm just gonna crack on with my little 10 minute walker. Um, I'll leave a link below and um, hopefully that will give me a little bit of energy. Get really um, snobbish about exercise and honestly these walking videos are brilliant and um, and if you've got like mobility issues or you struggle I really do recommend just just, just putting into, into youtube walking workout you'll find loads and today's present was some kind of face mist that gives you a tan so i'm very pasty as you know so i'm scared of using this but i'm probably going to give it a go at the weekend so i'll be golden and yes, she bought the bloody cake. Look at that. Look at all that nuts and fruit and all sorts. So I did what I could and stuffed this nut bar in my face to try to avoid the cake. And then my MD brought in loads of pies and like potato salad and like these like buffet nonsense stuff. Honestly, I'm going to confess, I avoided most of it, but I did have a few of these like cocktail sausage things um, and a little bit of quiche, but I didn't eat the crust. And now for the obligatory, I went to the gym footage. Um, just spent some time on the free weights and a little bit of time on the um, running machine at the end. Because um, my bottom half was absolutely dying today. So I just thought I'd concentrate on the other half. Well, I'm going to go into a shop called John Lewis. It's not mega fancy, but I'm going in there for an egg slicer and I'm fairly sure they will have one because that's that kind of shop. So I'm going to go and have a look. And I did get I come home with the eggy fancy egg slicer from John Lewis as I thought. And a choice of three, it's that kind of shop. So it's gonna make my like snack packs of things a little bit easier to make. And I'm now home to a screaming cat. And um, I've got my Thai curry, which I've previously I made one, I've had one of these before, and I've got to say the taste is as dull as shit. So I'm gonna put some chilies in it. I'll grab some more Thai cream paste. It's for a quarter of a jar, it's uh, three carbs. I'm gonna put a bit of ginger and chili in there. My cats are screaming their head off because they need some food. And um, I'm gonna throw this in and see if I can give this some energy. Yeah, it still wasn't very good, but you know, it, it, it's gone. I've got none left, so lessons learned. So from time to time, I do get talking to people about fitness and health and things like that and, and, and gym and things. And uh, when I start talking and um, I talk about my journey so far and things, um, something happens with some people when I tell them that in factual fact, in the last like, six years, I've done three half marathons. And you see it's like flicker in the eye. They look at me and they go, in their head they're going, yeah, of course you have. Yeah, all right, lovey because they don't believe me. And when I start to talk about it, and then you can just see they're in the head, they go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. And then I realise I haven't told you guys about it. So I, yeah, I've done three half marathons really. Um, when I was like three, over 300 pounds, three something. Um, I decided to do the first one, I was determined I wanted to do it. I did it next year, and then the next. 
and I improved on my time every year and then unfortunately I broke my foot so I didn't do any more but all through all of that process I hate running but I was so driven to do it because I wanted to get it done and to prove to myself that there's more to me than being big and my body is capable of doing those things so I did it a lot of people don't believe me but I have got the receipts so I've put together some of the footage of me doing them so I just wanted to share um briefly before I say goodnight um some of my footage so if you're ever considering doing a one mile or a 5k or a walkathon or anything a fun run training for a half marathon or a full marathon whatever just believe in yourself that you can do it was it hard yeah of course it was my f the worst thing was actually the soles on my feet were killing me and my legs obviously my bum um and i was slow the first time i did it the first footage you'll see you'll see behind me um the um fight the marshals actually shutting the lanes down because i was something like 30 from the end the first time i did it and sorry the cats are jumping around and the second time i improved on my time i think by about 25 minutes and then third it was about the same um i did actually have um a bit of an injury while i did it but i didn't want to lose my place so i wanted to finish it um so if anyone ever tells you you can't do this, anything, just give them that look. Mm -hmm. Okay, do that thing. Um, because I promise you, you can do it. So I'm going to stop rambling. And I'll show you um, me finishing and crossing the line at my free half marathons. I'll say goodnight and um, I'll see you tomorrow.